Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021. I hope you're well Capricorn. I'm doing these readings a little bit early given that Easter's coming. So let's see what we get. Message for our lovely Capricorns, please. <coughs> Message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Capricorn, 5th to the 11th. Okay. Oh, I've got change. Change is coming. And it's interesting. We're moving from the autumn to the spring. I'm definitely getting that kind of energy here. Because it is spring now and that's what I'm seeing. It feels very seasonal. Um, <clears throat> it feels something to do with timing here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've, got, I've got perfect timing. Yeah, it, it does feel now is the time. It feels like you're going to get some change and it's meant to be. Um, I'm definitely getting this spring energy. Gosh, the cards never cease to amaze me. So there we are, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to pull three cards. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns, please. 5th to the 11th of April 2021 for Capricorn. I'm going to pull three cards, as you know by now, Capricorn, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. That flew out. We've got the Six of Pentacles in the challenge position. Two of Cups. And the death card. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you. <clears throat> Remember, the death card is a card of change too. Deep change. We've got the world. Two of Cups, we have the Five of Swords. And the Eight of Cups clarifies death. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands here, Capricorn. It feels like you're ready for change and to be honest it feels in this situation that you, you might have been putting something off I mean you know there's an energy here of you know the six of pentacles in the challenge position with the world card it feels like there is a decision whether you want to put an, put your energy and time into a relationship or whether you want to move on you know step through to a new phase of your life there's a kind of energy here of not receiving you know it can be a balanced energy of not giving and receiving but it can be a balanced energy of giving and receiving normally but in the challenge position it's almost kind of like you're not getting enough back um someone's not putting enough in i mean it, it feels in this situation there's not enough give and take uh, so it definitely feels in this energy there is some kind of feeling of lack and it feels to do with some kind of relationship here now some of you there could have been money issues associated with this as well you might have been giving aid to somebody um, and then it might well be that somebody is not giving you it back don't know why I'm saying that but you know it can be a bit of a meaning of this energy 
Um, so for some of you, it can be very, it can be a little bit one-sided. Something that's one-sided. So yeah, I mean, th there could be a fallout in terms of money. Somebody not giving you back something that you've given them. And it feels in this situation, you're seeking some closure in a situation. This is a completion. But for some of you, either you're not getting back what you're putting into a relationship, or there's definitely an energy of, of something to do with money, feeling you might you might have given somebody money and you're not getting it back so it might well be it might have caused some conflict and that's what i'm getting what is this conflict this five of swords that flew out again waiting for something to come to you i'm definitely getting this energy Something's happened. Either you've put a lot of energy into a relationship and you're not getting anything back, or you've given someone something. It, it could be of material value, money, finances, and you're not seeing the return. The relationship has been one-sided and it's caused a degree of conflict because there's an energy of you're waiting for them to give it you back. And it's caused disharmony. You know, there is an energy of conflict here. Now, this can be a victory card, but it comes at a cost. Choice words. Understandably, obviously, you've not got something back from somebody. So it definitely feels... I feel, I feel you've loaned somebody something in the trust that you were going to get it back. And there's been some conflict here because you're waiting for it to come to you and it doesn't feel like it's coming Capricorn so there are a few choice words where you're having your say but it almost kind of like is causing bad feeling resentment ending the friendship or relationship this could be in a relationship this could be I mean the, the two of cups let's clarify that the two of cups is a bond between two people it could be to do with a family member a friend um, somebody who you have a bond with here giving them money to start a business I mean whatever this is it could be a child and you were expecting for that to come back but it doesn't feel it feels like it's caused conflict and it's caused a rift in your bond in your relationship and there's definitely an energy you're done with it you're done with it because there's an ending you're done and walking away I'm shedding an old skin, I'm putting it down to experience, but you know, this period of uh, burden, carrying heavy weights, responsibility, maybe carrying somebody as well. You might have felt you were carrying somebody for, for a period of time, carrying them, bailing them out, giving them money, expecting it to be paid back. It definitely feels in this situation, something's gone on here, Capricorn. Um, it's been a journey that you've been tested on here, but you're done with it. You know, this is a card of uh, endings. I'm done. It's ended. It's over. I'm walking away. And the message is that change is coming. This is a card of deep change. Because it is an energy of out with the old, in with the new. And I just feel in this situation, whatever this bond with, it's over with. So it might be coming to a head this week. Things might be coming to a head this week, Capricorn, because it feels that you're done with this person. It feels like a person. And there is definitely an energy which, you know, there will be the perfect timing to have your say, to deal with the situation and to bring change to your situation as well. Embrace change. Interesting that those two cards came out. This is divine timing as well. Divine orchestration. Now is the time to embrace the new season of spring and shed an old skin of the past, which was the autumn winter. So I'm definitely getting this energy of 
the winter is over, the spring is here, I'm done with this situation, I'm walking away. I'm, I'm walking away from what this disappointment was and putting it behind me and moving on, releasing the burden of and, and responsibility of what this took. This could have been, like I said, child, could be um, a family member, could be to do with friendship. But either way, in this situation, it feels like you're done finally, Capricorn. It feels things are coming to a head this week. Okay, but if it, 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 I mean, I have to say, this feels so positive. Where you're walking towards is beautiful. Um, so that that is definitely an energy. And, you know, the universe, is, it feels like there's quite a lot of karma here. Um, I mean, there is karma in death anyway. But it definitely feels in this situation that, you know, now is the time to just embrace new possibilities. Um, put whatever down to experience because it doesn't feel like you're going to get what you're waiting for from this person. Um, I'm definitely getting some, some kind of material value here. So I've got moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this very comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. You're definitely bringing peace of mind back into your life this week. Yeah, oh, I love that. We've got shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and revealing your true beauty. And the self-acceptance is that you are doing something by being good you know, by being honest, by being trustworthy, by doing the right thing by somebody and it feels somebody took advantage. But there is karma here, that's for sure. So you're being told to, to shed an old skin, wipe the slate clean, put it down to experience, move on, because there's greater things ahead coming for you with that three of wands too. And it feels now is the time to embrace the change because it's not doing you any good. So this is about bringing something to a final completion. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I'll see you next time. Thank you.